Hello, Earth Signs. Welcome back. This is going to be a reading for the first two weeks of February. Okay, this is for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So if you have Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn in any of those placements, then this reading could be for you. Um, then we give your power away to a reading. Okay, uh, this is just for confirmations and extra guidance if you may need it. And if you need your own personal reading, all that information is in the description below. Earth Signs, let's jump into your reading and find out what's in store for you for the first two weeks of Feb. All right, Earth Signs, um, I just wanted to first say that, as you can see, I've flipped the screens. Um, I had someone ask me to fix the screens because it was confusing um, in a sense of the mirroring. Anyways, I'm right-handed, okay, and when I had it on the other side, I had to mirror it so that my hand would be going into this frame like normal, and it was kind of throwing that person off, and so I've... The only solution I can come up with is with this um, setup. So let me know if it works for you or if you prefer the other way because I'm taking a consensus, okay? So just let me know in the comments if you um, prefer the other way where I'm on the other side or if it doesn't even make a difference. Like, just let me know. Okay, um, let's find out what the uh, major energies are here for you for the first two weeks of Feb for my earth signs. What are some of the major kind of governing energies over the first two weeks of February for earth signs that they need to know about? They're important to bring into their awareness. Okay, we have one so far. What is this? Ooh, we got protection coming up. Mm. All right, protection is the first one. What other energies are coming in? Oh, wow. Okay, this is a very obvious. Oh, earth signs. You have um, boundaries and protection. Well, if this isn't as much Captain Obvious as we can get. Um, so, um, earth signs there is a need here to bring a lot of awareness into um, your own personal boundaries. I did talk about this actually, I think in fire signs reading, uh, it came up briefly, not as, not to this extent where it's this obvious, but um, so there may be something in fire signs reading too there for you, or you may be dealing with a fire sign. I don't know. Um, Protection and boundaries. There's a need here for you to really um, look at what you're allowing in and what you shouldn't be allowing in mm, to your own energy field, uh, your life. Um, or you also could feel like there is something is too protective over you and you're needing to break free of a boundary. Like you're trying to break through something, you know, because when I look at her, like when I look at the boundaries card, she's in a bubble, you know, and I'm also, I'm picking up two storylines here. Like someone could be actually feeling the pressure of feeling too overly protected and needing to like break free of that. Like you actually, oh wow, okay. Um, some of you may be in relationships that are overbearing or overprotective and you're needing to kind of escape from it. Ooh, okay. Let's find out what the cars, like I, I feel like that's actually for someone out there. There's definitely someone who's going through that, so I have to put it out there. Um, let's go into the uh, fairy oracle and find out. This one wants to come out. Ooh. Okay, we have the sage. Okay, as the first card. We have loam. Okay, this is very much... Um, unconditional love. Um, it also can speak of like, um, like a very strong partnership. 
Uh, I'm going to pull one more card, actually. And Spirit Dancer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm feeling like someone is needing to kind of, is feeling um, expression-wise suppressed. Uh, like they can't express themselves. They can't, and not that, this is weird, okay? Because when I look at this card, this card is, I'm actually wanting, I want to look at the reverse meaning for this card. I never read these cards in reverse, but, um, you know, this, there's a bit of a dauntingness. Like this guy really is, the, it's a beautiful card. Okay. I, I want to say that, that there's a lot of wisdom, um, that comes through the sage. It's a mixture of, um, shamanic healing and also wisdom. Okay. And it comes from a very deep, long sojourn, uh, of a spiritual journey that you reach this point, uh, usually through a lot of alone solitude, uh, you, you, you come to this, this kind of person comes to this place. So some of you may be feeling like you're in kind of alone, even if you're in relationship feeling alone, I want to say, I'm going to go into the cards more, but then also with the loam, there's this need for unconditional love. Um, but it also talks about a very kind of um, deep partnership, uh, like husband and wife kind of partnership. Doesn't mean you have to be married, but it's kind of got that feeling. And then spirit dancer is all about really being able to express yourself through movement, like perhaps needing, if you can't have your voice, if you're not allowed to use your voice, that perhaps you're able to express it through movement, through dancing. If you think about like when you watch ballet or, you know, the expression often brings us to tears with no words that I'm feeling like I'm, I'm honestly seeing someone out there. I know this reading is not going to resonate with a lot of you. I I'm getting a very specific message coming in here. Someone is under duress. Someone out there is under duress and um, you're in a very suffocating relationship. I'm just going to say it. And you are feeling like you need to break free. I'm seeing a bird in a cage. I'm seeing, um, yeah, like there, that's what's really coming through. Okay. So, and I'm getting absolute chills throughout my body right now. So I apologize, um, about the specificness of this reading, but I have a feeling though that someone really needs this reading. So we're going to go there. Um, I want to go into the sage first. Let me just go into the sage to find out like what the, um, I just want to look at some of the, like the more, the, the negative aspects of this card. Um, when the wisdom of the sage is blocked, artificial or inappropriate boundaries are set between different aspects of life. Wow. That's interesting. We become unable to apply learning in one sphere to other aspects of life or information is withheld, kept secret when it could benefit others, which in turn would benefit us. Sometimes learning is blocked by the belief that we already have all the answers, but we never actually do. Okay, I'm getting the sense that someone's involved with someone who is kind of narcissistic um, it's their way or the highway. Uh, they have all the answers and it's not allowing this person to speak up. It's not allowing, um, this person to give voice to themselves. And there's a lot of pain being held in here. There's a feeling, a sense of being trapped. Um, wow. Okay. Um, Let's go into the tarot and see if we can't get some more answers here because um, this is important. Someone needs help out there. I can feel it. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. We have the Ace of Wands coming up here in reverse. <sighs> Um, you know, when I see the ace of wands, I always, this is very much like to me, the birthing, like it's the womb space of the, of the feminine, uh, where like things like the ace of wands, like 
it's a birthing of something very beautiful and passionate. But I feel like in this sense, the reason why it's out in reverse is that um, if you see in the background here, like there's a volcano erupting, okay? And I feel like something's happening here where someone feels like they're about to be like completely taken out by the lava bursts. Like they're dealing with someone who's very angry. Um, you're in a situation where it's very volcanic, very eruptive, um, and it's causing you to shrivel up and die a bit inside. I, that's where I was kind of going with the womb thing. Like I'm feeling like someone is, um, someone's really feeling, oh gosh, like, um, really scared for their life. This is very, um, okay, the um, feelings that I'm picking up on right now are very intense and, um, okay, can we get more messages for who needs this reading right now? Can we get more messages here for who needs this reading? Um, oh my God. So we have the death card in reverse. Um, feeling like you can't get out of the situation, like feeling stuck, like feeling like, you know, when the death card does come up in reverse, something is dying. So something new can come in, but when it's in reverse, it's everything's stuck. It's stuck in a really, um, not in a good place. Like it's not, it's in that transition place, like feeling like someone needs to get out. I feel like someone's really stuck here in an abusive relationship. Okay. And it's, um, yeah, like the, you need an out immediately. You need an out immediately. Um, Okay, so these three cards just came out. So we have, as I'm saying, like you need an out. We have the judgment card coming out. We have the knight of swords in reverse. And then we have the king of cups. Whoever this message is for, um, if you don't think you have a chance, this judgment card is coming out to tell you you've got a chance here. You see, like coming out after the death, it's like this is about bringing things, out, like this is about... Um, rising from the dead. Okay. Like I feel like you have a chance here and that there is some sort of divine support around you. Um, and I get the sense that you know this, but you're really scared to act out on it. Like you're really scared, but the message coming in here is to absolutely, um, go towards this divine protection, okay, or intervention or something or someone that can help you in the situation because <clears throat> the Knight of Swords in reverse talks about, um, you know, the Knight of Swords, the very um, impulse, like fast energy, like doesn't really think, comes in and it usually comes in to protect, but I feel like it's not about protecting you. Like I feel I just feel a very not good energy to this Knight of Swords. So I don't know if you're dealing with someone who's an air sign. Um, <clears throat> but this energy is like very, I get the sense that you're dealing with someone who's manipulating your mind um, to feel like there's no way out. Because the Knight of Swords is like this kind of protective energy, but the, when it's in like this, like, I feel like there's no protection and I'm feeling like you feel really unprotected. I feel like this is, this is how the person's making you feel, but this is the actual reality here. Okay. That, that there is help and the help is going to come in the form of someone. I get the sense who, um, has a more masculine energy, who's older, who, um, 
doesn't have to be, when I say masculine, it doesn't have to be a man. It could be a woman, but someone who um, is in a very um, emotionally authoritative kind of place. Uh, it could be a parent. It could be um, a grandparent. It could be, um, it could be someone, you know, who I get the sense they're older, but they're able to provide you with the emotional stability that you need right now um, to feel safe. Uh, there, I feel this heavily attached to this judgment card. Um, that they're your, they're your way out of this, this situation. And I keep getting the sense of not to really wait much longer. Um, go and express yourself to someone, like talk about it. If you haven't been talking about this, you need to talk to someone about it. And it's this person here. Okay. They're kind of like your salvation. It's, it's your, it's your judgment card, second chance, a way out of what feels like, um, death. I don't know who this is for. This is, um, and I apologize to all of you that this isn't resonating with, but I'm sure that, you know, in this kind of situation, someone needs help at this level. Like I'm really feeling the, um, okay. So we have the 10 of coins that kind of, it literally came out like right on its side evenly. Um, so the message that I'm getting here for whoever this is for is that, um, it's like that idea of, I feel like there's manipulation into your worth. Okay. Like, um, someone's trying to tell you you're unworthy. You can't hand, like you're nothing on your own. Like with them, you can have this, but without them, you're this. Okay. And that's why it's teetering on the side here. And You are, you are this on your own. Okay. You are this on your own. And I feel like you're in this also, like you see this 10 of coins is like a kind of like a gateway, a passage. And I feel like you need to just believe in your own worth in order to make the passage through this towards this judgment card. Okay. Like you've really got to see your worth and you've got to know, um, you've got to find that within you. You've got to like not let the outside influences of whoever this is or, and if it isn't someone and it's a situation, like an environment kind of thing, like just know your worth. Okay. Um, oh, wow. 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 Okay. Um, you have the king of swords in reverse, the two of swords, and then the queen of wands. Yeah, you're paralyzed. You're paralyzed not being able to make a decision here. Um, and it's causing a lot of inaction on your side. The queen of wands in reverse is someone who is not being able to take action, um, uh, isn't confident in themselves, isn't able to... Um, Yeah. It doesn't have that spark of life. Like that kind of like feeling like their life is worth it at the moment. Um, and then you have this King of swords in reverse, which is very manipulative behavior. Okay. This is, um, mentally manipulative. Okay. So this person, again, this is like the Knight of swords, but like in a grander version, um, and you're having to make a choice here. You're stuck. You're, and the reason why you're at a standstill is because of this this mental manipulation. Okay. Playing on like mentally, basically verbally, verbally abusing you verbally. This person's verbally abusing you. They're putting you down so that you don't know your worth and it's causing a lot of inaction on your part and ability to have the confidence to get yourself out of this situation. Cause this is a situation you absolutely have to get yourself out of. <sighs> okay. One more message here for, um, this person. oh man okay it was this card it wants to come out so we have the two of cups in reverse 
final card. And um, yeah, this um, this is just telling me that uh, whatever this union is, whatever this situation is, it's broken. This is a broken, not yours to fix. If you feel like you can fix it, no, um, get yourself out. Uh, it's, it's not good. Like this is, this is separate. Like this is a separation card. Like, you know, you two of cups is about coming into union. This is about like, you need to separate yourself from this whole situation. Um, it's, it's, it's screaming, like, just get out, get out. Um, oh man. I hope that whoever is this message is for and that who and they're watching that you have that you know that you um there's always hope get yourself out this person will only continue to have the power over you that you allow and once you are able to break free and express yourself find find this person or company or whatever it is I don't know like if it's like um uh, like a safe, like a safe house or something like that, that can allow you the space and protection. Cause you need protection right now. You need to break free of this because someone has just been so overbearing on you. So like, Oh, and I know I'm picking up on the really intense part of this. Like this may resonate with some of you out there, but not to the full intensity of what this reading is coming through. But I'm giving the full intensity of the reading because whoever it's for, like, they need to hear it. Okay, so um, just I hope you find the courage. I hope you find the courage to get out of the situation. And I know this is a really dark reading, but um, know that there is uh, light, light. Um, yeah, oh, my gosh. Look on the bottom of the deck. Lovers in reverse. It just kind of like that two of cups. It's just driving that home even more. It's just get out. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So um, for whoever that's for, I hope this helps. I hope, and if you need your own personal reading or you need to even just reach out, like email me. Okay. That information is in the description below. And just know that you're not alone and it's important for you to find some sort of way out of this. Okay. Um, guys, I love you so much. And um, I'll be back with you all soon.